Alright, just listen, listen, listen. What's up with y'all? How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? Yo, I know y'all miss me, man. I ain't even gonna lie, yo. You feel me? I haven't, you know, um, uploaded a video on my um, How to Become an Actor playlist, you know, day by day um, in a minute. You feel me? I've been, you know, as you see on my YouTube, you know, I've been putting out, you know, different type of entertainment skits. You feel me? Just just doing new things, just trying new things on my own. You feel me? When I'm just bored, you feel me? Just looking at certain things. And I've also been, you know, um, basically I have so much, I have so much in my notes, um, of videos that I need to do that skit pertaining. Um, so I've been focused on that heavy, heavy, especially this new year, cause I want to implement them. Um, and not because it's a new year, new resolution or anything like that. It's just because of the fact that I feel like it's time now, you know, um, one thing that you have to, um, one thing that you really got to come to terms with is the fact that. This is why I always say live by your standards and nobody else's standards because sometimes you might be ha like sometimes you might have an idea and in your head you're like all right bet I'm gonna implement this idea um, during this time you see what I'm saying but then you know people around you when you tell them the idea you feel me they be like yo why do it later do it now you feel me like stop being lazy stop procrastinating just stand the third and then people fall victim to that so then people you know they tend to. <clears throat> force a situation to happen now because they don't want to look as they don't want to be looked at as being you know lazy or procrastinating so instead of doing it later they do it now you feel me and then a lot of times they don't stay 100% on it because they're not mentally ready at this stage in life to do that 100% you feel me that's why that's why I had to start learning you feel me there's a lot of things that I wanted to do and start but I was like, if I start it right now or do this now, am I really going to sit there and go 100% the whole time? Or am I going to be 100% and then a couple of days from now, I'll be at like 50% and then I sit there and started something that I didn't finish once again. And now it's just, you know, waiting in the air. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like I got to realize I can't fall victim to that. You see what I'm saying? Because I've done that so many times. You feel me? Because nobody want to be looked at as a person who's lazy. You feel me? Even if you um, acknowledge that you are a lazy person. You see what I'm saying? But when people really see it, then it's like, damn, you lazy with every single thing. You see what I'm saying? So you got to realize that. And like I said, live by your standards, bro. You feel me? Like, it's nothing wrong with having a great idea and not implementing it at that point in time that you thought of the idea. You see what I'm saying? Because like I said, number one, you're already going through life. You're already going through situations. And if you feel like you didn't master or, you know, go 100% in the situation that you're doing right, right now, then what makes you think that you can, you know, carry something else on your plate? You see what I'm saying? But... This one, this, this video is not about that. Okay, this video is basically about actors and actresses, man. I'm, I'm speaking all this because this is like my downtime, right? So when you're an actor or actress, you have a lot of downtime. Right now, I'm waiting in this cold car right now, so I figure why not give y'all a video. <coughs> um, yeah, you feel me? You have a lot of downtime, right? As an actor and actress, what do you do on your downtime? So many different things, you feel me? A lot of people don't do shit, you feel me? A lot of people just keep on applying and applying and applying and applying to different, um, you know, movies or short films and things like that. And yes, that's something that you do as well. You see what I'm saying? Now, personally, me, have I done that? No, I've really been slipping. Like, I've been slacking. I've been slipping. I haven't applied to anything new, but that's because I'm in a field to where I want to start creating certain stuff before um, I do certain things. You see what I'm saying? But, um... But yeah, you, you apply to different, you know, jobs. Um, you keep on doing that. But that's not the only thing that you do. You feel me? People just stop at that. And then if they don't get like a, they don't get booked for a job in like a long, long period of time, then a lot of people lose their passion for you. feel me? Then a lot of people are like, you know what? Let me do something else right now. You see what I'm saying? Then they might get a part-time job. Then they might be doing all this stuff. And they might get a full-time job. And that full-time job might literally take up their whole schedule. You feel me? And then they will be comfortable with that because then now they submit to the fact that damn like i'm making money doing this right now i'm not making money doing this right now they're not even giving me no jobs they're not even giving me no looks over here so should i really just i just started the job i'm under my 60 day or 90 day probation whatever they do now like should i just stop right now because i had this audition or this audition and then it's just like, all right, cool. Some people might, you know, call out or do certain stuff, go to the audition, then they don't get that audition. So then they go back to the drawing board, go back to the nine to five. And then, you know, their passion is get put to the side, which in reality, that doesn't mean it's not your passion when that happens. You see what I'm saying? 
but um a lot of people do that you feel me and that's because of the fact that you got to realize you have to work on your craft you feel me just like rappers or anything that's why rappers say they have like millions and thousands of songs and verses you feel me that they don't put out it's because they just they just sit there and work on their craft you feel me if their if their song right there is not doing a number one hit or even if it is doing a number one hit, you feel me they're, they're continuously working on their craft so they have so much um they have no more they're learning about themselves you see what i'm saying and that's the exact same thing as you know being a part of this entertainment field it's like all right cool you're not getting a job there but what else can you do what is your job as an actor what is your job as an actress what do you want to portray what do you want people to see you as like what is it and if you really want to be on the big screen or you want people to see you you feel like you got a message that you want to give out then you got to realize you have to do other things that's gonna you know help that out you feel me so like me like i said like I, I be having time and I be, you know, just thinking of ideas of different skit ideas. You feel me? I'm trying to keep my, my mind creative and keep, you know, the juices flowing. You feel me? So that when it is time for me to get that next book in or that next this, that, and the third, you feel me? Not only will I feel even more better going into that because I've been working on my, my craft and I'm not sitting there just dusty and stuff like that. But then I'll be so ecstatic because of the fact that, number one, I love networking, right? So when you go to a different job, you get booked for this, that, and the third. You feel me? You always network with the directors, the makeup artists, the, the, um, the, all the crew members and all the cast members and things like that. And one thing that I love to do is that when I go and, you know, join a new cast is I like to bring what I already have to the table, which is just me in general. And that's, you know, my YouTube, anything business related. You see what I'm saying? Because, like I said, you're working with fellow cast and actors, right? And sometimes, like I said, when, if it's a slow period of time, but if you have a passion for that and the cast members that you work with have a passion for that, you can do things outside of that. You see what I'm saying? To where now y'all can do certain skits together. Y'all can make your own movie, your own short film, your own series. Y'all can do so many different things, but a lot of people don't want to do that. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people just want to be like, you know what? I want to act, but only if I get put this job for this amount of money and that's all. Other than that, I'm going to just sit there and lay back and just hope it just works out like not nah, it's not it's not it's not gonna do that you feel me like when you go to these things yo i'm trying to tell you like go with something that you can you know bring to the table something that you can something that you can share something that you can network with something that's going to make you and jump you to the next level you see what i'm saying and that's the only thing that's going to jump you to the next level you feel me if you have something in the stash you feel me instead of going to a cast or this that, and the third and you just start talking about what you're doing if this your first job do you have any more work that you're about to do like what are you doing now you feel me and a lot of people just be like no like um i don't have no more work um this i probably worked on a couple projects before or this is my first project whatever the case may be and like that's all you feel me and like that's cool but that's that's corny like that shit is trash bro that's all you got bro that's if that's all you got if you have if you're not working on anything other than what you're working on now, which is whatever you got booked for, then that's trash, bro. That's trash, man. You feel me? Like, that's not a good look at all. You feel me? Compared to somebody who comes in and y'all start talking like, hey, how you doing? This, that, and the third. What you, have you done this before? Yeah, I've, I've been working on some couple projects before. This, that, and the third. You got any future projects? Yeah, I got a future project lined up when certain things get done. All right, bet, bet, bet. What are you doing right now? You know, other than doing this, you feel me? I got my business YouTube. You feel me? Where I'm giving you no knowledge, you know, day-to-day -day knowledge. Um, of how, you know, actors and actresses can get into this world, you feel me, without getting scammed, you know, things like that, you know, I'm doing you know, different entertainment skits, I have a playlist that's gonna let people know how it looks behind the scenes when it comes to shooting short films and things like that, just so that if somebody is interested, they can see what it looks like, and you know, they, they might want to be a crew member, or they might want to be an actor or actress, because they see what it looks like behind, and they realize there's a family behind the situation, you feel me, like, the fact that I can just say all that, you feel me, like, that's a great thing, you feel me, because now the director, the makeup artist, whoever is listening at that time, is gonna be like, oh, damn, like, that's dope, you feel me, like, he's passionate behind that, you feel me, well, if you ever need help with any other project, future projects, you need makeup artists, whatever you need to do, like, holla at me, you feel me? And then now you got connects with people that would just do that shit, you feel me? You f and you feel me to where, because, like, otherwise, if you don't do that, then when you do try to come to create something, if you do, then you got to look for this, you got to hope that they're good at this, then you got to probably pay this and this, that, and the third, but if you build a network of friends and y'all have the same passion, then, like, y'all trading, you see what I'm saying? Like, you don't got to audition or this thing that they're like i already know that you act bet you could be in this movie bet 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 oh you need a makeup artist cool we already working on this project i love what you're doing bet i'll yeah i'll, I'll do the makeup artist for that you feel me because that's only that's going to help promote you you feel me because once you post it you won't just tag the people who contributed to the project you see what i'm saying so that's something that you need to do you feel me that's something that you know i've been doing you know for the last like month and a half or whatever the last time i posted one of these videos uh, 
of, you know, becoming this and getting into this entertainment field, man, like, it's just really sitting back and thinking, like, all right, what else can I do? Like, when I do get my next big shot, <laughs> in general, like, I want to have a lot to the table. I don't want to go to that next shot, and then, like, I, they just, just allow me to leave. All right, listen, so it, it cut off because, um, I don't know what I was saying, but whatever, it cut off because I ran out of space, which is drug. I give me a new phone, man. Um, I, I, I just got to delete a lot of shit. That's basically what it is. I got too much shit in my phone, apps and all this stuff. I got to delete a lot of shit, man. But um, stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to, um, I'm here, guys. You feel me? Y'all going to get more information and, you know, what to do as an actor and actress and how you get into the field, how you navigate through it, how you, how do you, you know, overcome them, 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 them hard times, them down times and things like that, how to stay motivated, how to stay, you know, and, and um, inspired and things.